as we all know, we are within the 1 percent. Uh, and when that happens, we are entitled to a recount. Now, what is true is that on the day of the election, the Supreme Court, the Georgia Supreme Court, said that the annexation of Loch Lomond was invalid. And it is our understanding that voters from that community voted in the municipal election. So that is one of several issues that we have. That's not going to be resolved today. It will be resolved before the Norwood campaign is finished. So no matter what happens here today, that's still... That still is an issue. And, uh, and it did not come out the day of the election to the general public. So we are, what we understand is that residents lawfully thought that they could vote, of course, um, but the Supreme Court has decided that that is not the case. Do you know about how many votes we're talking about? We know there's several hundred that there could be. So again, we have to do the, and they were mixed in with a precinct, so it wasn't just a neighborhood. So all of that's got to be reviewed. And Loch Lomond is a, uh, probably a pretty heavy Keisha Bottoms area. We don't, we don't know who voted for whom, but I would certainly say that when you have a municipal election, everyone who is entitled to vote needs to vote. People who are not entitled to vote, no matter how innocent, um, aren't, their votes can't be counted. So we're talking about after this is over, going to court filing? We will see what we will do next. Uh, you know, the other day, um, we had the elections board and one of those gentlemen basically said, kind of like the old at the altar kind of thing, if somebody objects to this marriage on the board, speak now or you know, hold your peace. Um, somebody mentioned, one of the members said, is that we right now, we can, we can call for this recount if we find something is not right. Well, we um, called for the recount, yeah. and that's where we are today. Right. So and, and, but, now, but, but go my, ahead. My, my point is, uh, did you guys have this information? Uh, I guess everybody should have had this information if there's a court ruling. I did but, not have the information, Mars. Oh, I did to not present that to, the to board. present. I okay. did not have that information to present to the board. Okay. Um, that was told to me. If you had, me, you would have. That was told to me in the past 24 hours. Okay. Um, I was very busy the day of the election, so there was a lot that, that other people may have known that I did not know. Okay. Um, and as you know, that night, no one was talking about the Supreme Court decision. Right. Um, I was interviewed, as we all know, right. um, and so I think it's very important that for the sake of Atlanta and the sake of accurate elections, that everyone who is entitled to vote votes. Everyone who is not entitled to vote, no matter how well-intentioned and innocent, can't vote. That's the rule. Essentially, That's the law. essentially, on the Lock Loman question, you would need to go to court on that. I will leave that to my team. Right. Okay. Thank now, you. Uh, We're uh, going to see what happens let, today. One, one, one more question. Uh, other than uh, other than the Lock Loman issue, uh, if these numbers come out and the cabs numbers come out and they don't change the result. What else is part of plan B for Mary Norwood? I think that's something for us all to stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am.